and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create simple lower thirds. You can use them for example to display names. I've got a simple clip right here, just a short one, 5 seconds. Go to window and open your essential graphics menu, just left click on it, it should pop up. I've got the browse active, make sure that it is for you as well and I'm under my templates first. There's a zoom level at the bottom, you can use the slider for that, so it changes a little bit of the display. Go to the search bar, type in thirds, press enter and all of the lower thirds that are already installed in Premiere Pro pop up. You can simply pick one and then drag it into your timeline, make sure it's on top of your video file and now it appears in the video. If you want to adjust it, you can simply pick the type tool right here. Click in your preview window on the text, press Ctrl A to select it all and then change it. You can see that it's active, so in the effect controls I can see all of it happening. If you can't see that menu, go to window, click on effect controls. But once again, make sure that this file is active and not the video file below. As for example the text element, I can make that invisible on these two shapes, so the two lines. There's a drop down and we can adjust all of that further. For example, just let me make the bottom line red so that you can see how that goes. Just click on this white color swatch, make it red, press OK. And now we've adjusted the bottom line. Depending on the lower third that you use, there are multiple ways to adjust it, but you can also pick some from the internet, so Adobe Stock. Make sure that you've got free checked. All of them should be free of charge. Let me type in thirds again. Some of them are a little bit more complex, so it might take some time to download them. But when you drag them into your timeline, the downloading process starts automatically. And there it is. And you can adjust it the same way, so use the type tool and the effect controls panel. You can adjust all of them in the timeline as well, so readjust the time they appear. By default it should always be around 5 seconds, but especially when you've got a complex animation inbuilt into that lower third, you will have to watch out for the time if you shorten it, so that you don't shorten the animation. It might cause you trouble. But these are the basic ways for creating these lower thirds in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.